Why so serious? Daniel Gillespie here with the Clarity Crew with your five by five. Maybe, just maybe, the answer to some of our problems, to many of our problems, is that we take the wrong things seriously. Now, the Bible tells us that there are a number of things that we are to take seriously. First and foremost, we are to take God seriously. He is the creator and sustainer of the universe. He is the maker of all things, heaven and earth. He is maker of the seen and the unseen. He is the giver of life. He is good and he is sovereign and he is to be taken seriously. The Bible tells us he is to be feared. He is to be worshiped. He is to be praised. He is to be obeyed. He is to be enjoyed. No, the God of the Bible is to be taken seriously. The Word of God is to be taken seriously. It is living and active. It is sharper than any two-edged sword. It is able to save souls. It is designed to guide us through this life. It's like a light and a lamp into our path. It keeps us from sin. It gives us wisdom and insight. It tells us how to see the world clearly, how to plan, how to prepare, how to... It comforts us in times of trouble. It reminds us reminds us of what is real and what is not. It helps us through our day. The Word of God is to be taken seriously. It's to be treasured. It is to be precious to us. It's to be protected. It's to be cherished. It's to be hidden in our heart. The Word of God even tells us that we're to take governments around us, authorities, seriously. That we are to see them as those that are to be over us and to be the ones to punish evil and, and support good. And we know that uh, governments don't always do what they should do, and certainly there's no government that does exactly what any of us would want them to do, but we are to take governments seriously. Those in authority over us, we're to take them seriously. And then the Bible says that we're to take one another seriously. That as each individual on this earth is made in the image of God, we are to take one another seriously. That no matter where someone comes from uh, physically or where they come from um, emotionally or philosophically or even spiritually, we are to consider one another seriously. In fact, the Bible tells us as followers of Christ that we are to prefer other people. We are actually to consider other people more important than ourselves. So friends, we are to consider others more seriously then we consider ourselves. My challenge to you in this brief time we have tonight is that maybe, just maybe, you and I take ourselves too seriously. Now, as followers of Christ, we have a message uh, that is to be taken seriously. And we have a God that is to be taken seriously. And we have a word that is to be taken seriously. But we are not commanded in the scriptures to take ourselves seriously. We need to laugh at our own foolishness. We need to laugh at the fact that many of us are pretending to be immunologists and scientifically profound and um, wise well beyond not only our years, but throughout all of history. And I'm just as much to blame as anyone else. I have my opinions and I believe them to be right. And yet I need not take myself too seriously. Treasure the God who made you. Worship the God who made you. Treasure his word in your heart. Recognize that the authorities above you have been given to you by God and serve and honor your neighbor as more important than yourselves. Listen to 1 Peter 2. Be subject to the Lord's sake to every human institution, whether it be to the emperor as supreme or to the governors as sent by him to punish those who do evil and to praise those who do good. For this is the will of God, that by doing good you should put to silence the ignorance of foolish people. Live as people who are free, not using your freedom as a cover-up for evil, but living as servants of God. Honor everyone. Love the brotherhood. Fear God. Honor the emperor. Take others seriously. Take God seriously. Take his word seriously. Take the authorities seriously. Take others seriously. But friends, do not take yourself seriously. Don't be easily offended. Don't be quick to get angry. Don't be quick to speak. Let others talk. 
Let's serve our God by serving others, by taking ourselves less seriously. For the Clarity Crew, Daniel Gillespie with your 5x5. Have a great night.